Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, live from Harlem in New York, it's the Rambo with me, I'm Alex Bennett, we'll be here until midnight tonight. Uh, Chuck Farnham. Yeah. Why are you wearing those red glasses? I like these. Don't you know, um, well, I've got a pair of tortoiseshell ones where one is uh, round and one is square. Yeah. And ever since I had the old, uh, you know... Uh, surgery. Now I can wear any old glasses. So I missed out on all those years <laughs> since second grade where I couldn't. And now I can buy. What surgery you know, did you get? You get the. Uh, you, what I got you? Um, a cataract. Surgery. Oh, cataract. Oh, they, those are that's simple. Yeah, 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 and fun. And but now I I have like, you know, fifty pair of glasses. You know what, and all. what happened? I I had my cataract surgery and I actually could see better. I could read pretty much without glasses. The the, the Screens really? here, and now, all, I can't read. Uh, lately, my foot vision's gone to crap. Yeah, mine's gone a little. If I get like like I have a lot of allergies because somebody decided to grow corn across the street and uh, you know like fifty acres, and so now I can't. You know, once that they harvest that stuff, my sinuses go, my eyes go, everything. Oh boy, yeah, great, it's just great. Any other medical conditions we can talk about? Because that's all we seem to talk about on this that's program. No, dude. I, yeah. I, you'll be glad to hear, went to the doctor just on Tuesday after many MRIs mm -hmm. and uh, assorted other, you know, evasive tests. Yeah. And uh, I don't have to go to the doctor for two years. Really? He, he said I was healthy as an ox and weighed about the same. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, don't worry about it. Maybe lose a little weight. I know. Now I don't have to. You know, my my kidneys. Well, with you, still they always they always say this: you're in great shape, but I'd lose some weight. Yeah, yeah. This guy, you know, this guy could not take a single one-liner throughout the entire urology exam. He was just like, you know, I mean, I did the hey, can I have the glove when you're done with that as a souvenir? Why did they do an MRI on you? Uh, my kidney when I when I fell installing the deer in the front yard. The deer in the there, front yard? Wait a minute. Installing the what in the front yard? I have I have I have some I'll have to send you a photo. I have some life size deer in the front yard made out of metal. They're huge. And okay. a giant pig. And I mean that's what you do when you live with hillbillies, you put yard art in. I mean some people do snowmobiles, all kinds of stuff, but I got these now, giant Now, let me deer. ask you this. The way you're dressed today, is that official hillbilly? You know, this is a, this is a, all it does is, is draw deadheads. Oh, I see. Okay. It does. Yeah, it's, it draws deadheads but aren't really some, quickly. aren't some hillbillies deadheads? Not so much. I, they're all listening to Insane Clown Posse and weird heavy metal music. Who? And then, Who? The, ins the Insane Clown Posse. The Insane Clown Posse? Yeah, eh, you know. And without missing the tooth, that's a good good thing to hang out I know, out no, no, I fit right that's in. That's a real hillbilly thing. look right I'm there. Getting, I'm getting more and more used to it. I, I actually smiled in the mirror yesterday Yeah. and uh, said, hey, you look pretty good. So I mean, either I'm getting really senile, or well, I, I don't. Know. I I just went to the dentist today. Yeah. <clears throat> or as I call a fishing expedition, on the part of, of a course. dentist. Okay. Now you she, have. She most said. Energy. She said to me, "I'm going to come in. It was for a cleaning. I'm going to come in a moment. Look at your mouth. Don't worry. I'm not going to try and find anything." I said, "No, you'll find enough for your next yacht." Right. You know? And yeah. she did, by the way. Of course. Well, I said I have this slightly loose tooth over here, and she says, "Oh, that's abscessed." She says it's not an abscess that hurts, but it's an abscess, and what we have to do is remove the tooth and put an implant. Well, bingo, oh, five thousand dollars. There's right there. five G's. Yeah, five G right there. Which I, you know, I've got the money; I can pay it, but 
I, who wants to? You'd rather buy, you I, know, Taco Bell or I, something. I, I, I bought myself this new watch. I bought this Apple Watch. This is the uh, ul, this is the Ultra. No, I, notice yeah, how big it how really, big how big it is. You're really fancy now. Well, no, but it's I, you know, because my eyesight's getting a little weak. You know, right? I I like it because I can read it okay now. You know, and this is meant for yeah. people who are in into climbing mountains and jumping into the oh, yeah. ocean and you know things like. Well, you're that. always you're always wandering around the park, so now you'll know where you are. Yeah. Well. Anyway. Right. So. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, I go there and I say I got this little loose tooth, and she, you know, when she says, "Is there anything wrong?" And she looks at me and says, "Oh, it's, it's in fact, I'm sure it's it's in, it's an abscess tooth. We'll have to pull it." She says, "And if there's enough bone there, we'll immediately do an implant." And I went, "Wow, that's fast, you know." You need some for the weekend. No, in the old days, you used to they did the implant. They yeah, it's like it. a year, something. Six months. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm gonna have to go without a tooth here for at least three months, but maybe awesome. more. But maybe more. It's the same, and it's not in the front like me. We be twins. Yeah, well, you know, if I were in the front, I would get it immediately, you know. I just like people go, hey, what happened to that tooth? And then I just, every single time, make up a different story. Well, the only thing that bothers me about them pulling a tooth is not pulling the tooth. That doesn't hurt that much, you know. It's not, no. they're not with the Novocaine. It's not painful. It's out before you know it. And especially a tooth here is smaller, so it takes less. Right, effort. jerky. But what bothers me is going around without the tooth. Okay, now I probably won't show up when I'm talking here on the air because it's right, it's right back, back here, and when I'm talking, you don't see it. But it bothers me. It bothers me that it's not there. You're a little vain on this subject. No, it isn't a question of vain. I just don't like to be without equipment. Okay, and I consider uh, that a piece of know, equipment. It's don't leave, don't leave me open like that. Really, don't leave me open like that. I mean, isn't everything stopping working after a while? Uh, is it stopping and working? It, what do you mean? Is it? Is it your your bodily functions and everything else? Pretty much, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, here, so here, so here, now the teeth are going. Here's what happened. I did a real old person thing. Okay, I took a terrible fall while we were out for a walk. And I was holding Marjorie's hand. I sometimes hold her hand when I'm walking just because I maybe feel a little unsteady. And right. I can't, apparently holding on to her didn't help one bit. And I dropped. I got two giant sores on my knee. They're still healing. Uh, and uh, this other leg, I couldn't even walk on the next day. So I had to go to a knee doctor who gave me cortisone and cleared it up. But now it looks like it tore a meniscus, and that hurts like hell on the other side. So when you say, how am I doing? You know, I took a fall. And when you take a yeah. fall, it's strange, but it's really a lot. You yeah, know? see, I, I took the fall, same thing like you. Yeah. I'm out there, we're putting the deer in, me and Paco, or whatever you want to call the guy I got him from. And he's in his pickup, and I'm moving the deer, I go face down into what is basically a dry lake bed, but really hard because I'm a big fat guy and I'm up six feet, right? Yeah. I fall down. My leg is a mess. And See, listen to this, folks. You're, you're listening to the old people show. Go ahead. Yeah, it's <laughs> medical alone. Or as we like to call it, as we like to call it, an organ recital. Exactly. Yeah. And so I fall down, and I think we've told this before, but... I fell down and then my my side hurt. I pay no attention to it for six months. Not it, it like stops hurting. And then one day I, I roll over an excruciating pain, and and I I go to the uh, hospital, and they say, uh, "When did you fall?" And I go, "What are you talking about?" I didn't tell them I fell. I just have a kidney that hurts, right? Like maybe I got a kidney stone or something. And the guy goes, no, 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 you fell. And and your kidney is is got a big hematoma on top of it. Oh, and it's, boy. And it's bleeding like a, a stiff. And he goes, are you on blood thinners? And I go, yeah, it's Zarelto. Stop, favorite. stop, stop immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. So stop the blood thinner. And by the way, don't move. 
And I go, what do you mean don't move? And he goes, you need to lay there for about six months and the hematoma will solve itself. What do you mean? You can't, you can't do anything else but just lie there? Literally lay there, right? So for a couple, three months, I'm laying well, around. That's, that's no problem for you. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's hard to get up. I'm a fat fuck. So I'm doing that and, you know, getting waited on occasionally. And it really is fine. And then a year passes and the guy goes, well, we need to take some more pictures. And they take a CAT scan or something and the CAT scan comes back. Uh oh, there's something behind the hematoma. I'm like, you mean like my kidney? Yeah. And he's, no, 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 no. Go, we need to get it with contrast now. The photos need to be taken with contrast. Oh boy. Go back to the doctor, or back to the MRI guy. The you know the CAT scan. I can't do an MRI, by the way. I yeah, can, I, I wish can, I could. I can do a CT scan, but I can't do an MRI. I'm, you can't do that to me. So after four picture now the second pictures come back and go they use the word tumor in the description i'm a hypochondriac were these ct, CT scans huh ct or mri yeah, yeah the mri yeah. no the ct scan the second ct scan with with contrast came back and it said there's something behind the hematoma and we know it's a tumor you know it says right there it's not a tumor <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, uh, now I haven't seen the doctor yet. I'm just getting these reports, right? Yeah, right. So, so now, on the bottom of the report, we need MRI. So now they shove the fat guy in the largest MRI machine in North America, apparently, and do the pictures, and do the pictures again with contrast. So now I've got like seven pictures of this thing. And it comes back and says, they're, they're cysts. Well, that's no, that's no big deal. Right, exactly. I have, I have, as, I have, a, I have cysts, as a hypochondriac, I, have, I think cysts become tumors. I have cysts on my over on my ovaries. On are my, your ovaries? Uh, yeah, my that ovaries. Explains. No, on my uh, on my lot. kidneys. I have them as well. Really? I have cystic kidneys. Yeah. Another thing we have in common. Yeah. Well, they're, 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 they're nothing. So I, yeah, but I didn't know that because I'm a hypochondriac. So I looked them up, and it says twenty percent of all cysts are not a problem 80 percent of them are a huge problem and uh, you know apparently i read the wrong thing what yeah, a I, it's not what i heard but exactly so now i'm at the doctor who is not mr funny and he's like you know you're okay the the it's you still have the hematoma and it's slowly healing i go yeah a year now and uh, and, and I'm back on those and he goes to Zarelto it's just going to take forever and I said but that's not a problem for you and he goes no because you have no pain no no symptom right and I'm like okay fine what about those cysts and he goes they're nothing they, I go well one more grow or, I mean am I going to have a field of cysts in my kidney he goes probably not right. and, he, and he goes it's just what it is can I stick my finger in your butt and you know and then I left well, the cysts in your kidney is supposedly not a problem. At least that's what I've been told. No, no, you know, no, you're right. That that they're cysts, okay? And he uh, says, you know, come back in a few years. We'll see how you are. Well. So I was like, yeah. wow, I never had a doctor say, come back in a few years. Wow. I can actually do that. Well, he got enough money out of you this time. Between all yeah. the tests. Well, no, he was, I think he was very happy that um, he saw my uh, so, uh, uh, Medicare card. Oh, okay. No. So he could take that money. Yeah, well, here, here's the thing with me. Here, here's my problem. I don't like going to the doctor because it costs me more money than it costs most people because I take a lift down there, and today the lift cost me 35 bucks going down yeah. there. Going down there, not going back. And so you I, have to I, I, add that to your dental bill. You can't put that on the insurance, but it, it's, it should be part I, of I, I took... Um, a uh, an Uber in, a, in the city, and I couldn't fit in the back of it. I had to lay sideways. You haven't gotten that huge, have uh, you? No, no. There's just no room in the back of that stupid Tesla that I had climbed in. Back seats in the Tesla, crap. Right. I mean, I don't weigh eight hundred pounds. I weigh three twenty-five. Okay. 
or 215 if you're Donald Trump. It's 100 pounds more than me. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe I think I maybe weigh a little more. You, than you could live a couple of months on me, uh, you know, up on Donner if, if we, Yeah, if we were the Donner party. Yeah, you'd, you'd be, you'd be, uh, you'd be, you'd be actually, uh, you'd feed the whole party for a, a week. Exactly. Yeah. Perfectly. Fine. The doc thought I was fine. Like I said, the guy had no humor whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you're, you're, I'm saying things like, "Is that your wedding ring?" I'm getting nothing. Here's what I. Here's what happened. My bane in life has been the fact that every time I go to a urologist, they take a blood test. Right. And when they take a blood test, they find blood in my urine, traces of blood in my urine. Right. And Which they, is very common. And they, yeah, but they go apoplectic. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one doctor had me do a, a, a cystoscopy to make sure it wasn't bladder cancer. I mean, this guy was a guy who always padded the bill. I finally found myself a great urologist. I, I love the really? urologist. I did I too. Had. Mine moved away. He's over by you now. And mine saved my life. I mean, you know, I had this prostate cancer, and he, he detected it, and he got me to the right doctor. He got me to Rudy Giuliani's uh, nice. doctor, the one who did the seeds on him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he did the seeds on me. So, you know, Giuliani and I are seed partners. You have the same, you have the same garden. Yeah. I'm nice. Yeah. Now, did you do the, the, the thing where they shoot the giant needles in you? What do you mean shoot the giant needles in you? Where you have a, a biopsy? Where they stick what looks like a giant cucumber in your ass, and then this thing fires uh, fifteen needles up inside your. Well, well wait, what he did was was the seeds, which. Well, yeah, clients, this was the, this was a test. This was before. No, I never before. had anything like that. No. Oh yeah, that all was I had, great. all I had was uh, what did he do? He did the, uh, uh, what test did he do on me? Where it, everybody told me how much it was going to hurt, and it didn't hurt at all. Um, you know, biopsy. Oh, yeah, yes. Biopsy. Okay, that's what you're talking you about. Know, you're talking about a biopsy. biopsy. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it didn't hurt at all. It, it just was in weird. Fact, though, all it sounded it? like to me was a staple gun. Yeah, yeah, like like a pellet gun going yeah, off. But it didn't something. hurt, did it? No, no. Some people no, say, oh, my God, you? I had a biopsy, a prostate biopsy. No. Oh, it's painful. and it's. Uh, you know. how, well, how high were you when they, did they give you I, that meds? That wasn't high for, at all. Oh, dude, they gave me, like, crazy stuff. No, they didn't give me anything. I'm like, just shoot it again, yeah, shoot it no, again. And, it and he fine. goes, how you doing? I go, shoot it I, again. I expected, when it was over with, I said, it's over? He said, yeah. I said, I expected pain. I expected a discomfort. I expected it to take an hour. Nothing. No, it was fast. Nothing. But it, it was that in which they found the, the prostate cancer. It was a very, very slow-growing, right. you know, not a major one. But enough that you got to take care of it. So I had the uh, I had the uh, what do you call it? the uh, uh, radiation, and then uh, on another occasion he put the seeds in me, and and nice. now of course the prostate doesn't respond to anything, including Kim Kardashian. You know right so, exactly. So whatever you know. They well, figured, yeah, well, figured, that was me. You know, they did I, the they did that thing mm -hmm. like they did to you, and then. And he goes, well, you know, this doesn't work every time. And I'm like, why? Why are you telling me this now after you've already billed this? You know, why? Why don't? He goes, well, you know, the real way to do it is to do a DNA test on the samples that we took out of you. And I'm like, okay. Well, it took him a year to do that. And he goes, dude, you will never have a problem. You so do not have the DNA that will cause that to happen. Yeah. So that's well, you know, I that's mean, what I, I had was very minor. Really? Yeah. You know. Uh, and at my age, <laughs> at my age, it's even more minor. When you get it at my age, they go, well, this isn't right. going to be serious. No. In fact, no, when you, in fact when I you say to every man out there who's listening to me, if you live long enough, yeah. you will get prostate cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's a given. In your lifetime, it's going to happen. Now, when you go to the, the, the urologist, do you notice something weird in the waiting room? Old people? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely old people. They're all staring at the ground. Nobody will make eye contact in there. Really? I didn't they're notice that. I, did, I just at, noticed the age. Yeah, no, I everybody's noticed. old, but they're all looking at the ground. I and I went, up to the, I went to the reception, so I go, I hate coming here, but look out there, those people. She goes, what, the patients? I go, 
Look at where what, they're what looking. What was the ratio of men to women? Oh, uh, there's only like maybe well the other day there was like no women, but usually yeah, yeah. one maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they seem to be fine. Mm -hmm. Their plumbing is much better than ours, apparently. Yeah, I, well, I finally found a really good urologist, really nice guy, and he was a, he's a good urologist. I mean, he saved my life. That's how good he is. Yeah. And I really like him. I didn't think I'd ever say that about a urologist because, uh, uh, in fact, I think he said to me, when I said I've had bad luck with urologists, he said, well, it's a weird profession. And everybody thinks, it says urologists are the weirdest of all the... Uh, of well, all, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. I, I fully believe that. My mind, like I said, he moved to New York. So I don't have my guy anymore. I have this new guy who's, you know, the straight guy from hell. So it's like, oh, dude, nothing is funny to you. You hate this. It's just part of the job, you know, blah, blah, blah. Come on. Yeah. But you're sticking your hand in people's asses every well, day. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this because this is another one of our discussions of... On uh, health care for old folks. Uh, uh, old and folks and how it goes. Wow. You know, yeah, you know, it's really stop it. Well, you know, maybe we, maybe next time I can just get out the old cat scans and we can, you know, we can compare them. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, I can't do an MRI. If they ever have to do an MRI on me, they they literally have to. They'd have to kill me first. Uh, what, you can't get your whole body in there. No, I can't. I'm, I have just. It's apparent by a horrible Scary in there. Claustrophobia. Yeah, yeah, no, I and and they, they get me really, and, really. And they do here in New York. I don't know if they have it in uh, you know Podunk where you are, but they do have open MRIs where you just kind of oh, really? sit in. Well, it. Yeah, but you, hmm? you sit in it and it does it right. Yeah, they say it's yeah, not it's as ac it's not as accurate, but they will they will do it if you. Request yeah, but I can't fit in the chair. You can't the fit chairs in the like chair. Billy. No, he's like Billy Barty fits in that chair, dude. It, you, you're probably at the maximum that'll fit in the chair to do that. I weigh about 225, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, they like they just looked at me and laughed. I'm like, I go, well, why don't we try it? And he goes, yeah, well, right, let me get my camera. Well, those, those, you know? those MRIs are built for fat people. No, they're not. Only the, they, have, they have multiple MRIs. There's one MRI in northern Nevada. Yeah. Will, will fit me. I mean, because you, once you get in there, you got to have some. Everybody, th everybody think that you're like 800 huge, pounds. 800 pounds, and you're not. You're 325. No, 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 I'm, that's I'm that's not, fat, but you know, it's not. I, I am definitely large, but I'm not that large. I'm not, you know. Have you ever tried I'm to have you ever tried, like a walrus? Have you ever tried going on a diet? I guess you haven't. Knowing you, you wouldn't do it. I I don't. There's certain. I don't eat beef. I don't eat beef. I I have I had a salad the other day. You know, I it, yeah, I walked every day. I walked three miles. I never lost a pound. Really? I took my bike out and walked and walked and walked and ran, ran, ran with that thing. Nothing. I don't know if I can walk three miles now. Now I can't. I can't walk three miles. Yeah. I mean, it's just oh, my well. knee, my back. Folks, this is a show today about just getting older, and it ain't for sissies, you know? Yeah, we could do this again, because there are many other illnesses we well, can no, find. Well, I, I no, I tell my audience, you know, think of me as the Sacagawea of aging. You know, leading the Lewis and Clark party into aging and looking out ahead yeah. and saying, we're going that way. Was that, yeah. by the way, was that racist? I'm not sure. We go them that way. You didn't call yourself Sacagawea, did you? Yeah, because yeah, I don't want I don't want to diss the American Indian because I think that uh, uh, Native Americans, uh, ba basically, because I respect them highly, highly. I, I have. I think they got the biggest Ross deal of anybody in this country, and I'm including black people. And who doesn't like Indian doctors? Black doctor? people got kidnapped and brought here. That was their thing. Right. The Indians, the American Native Americans, were already here, and right. we stole it all from them. Yeah, well, they call they call themselves human beings, not Indians. That was you know yeah. you know who, who they stopped in for the land. They own the land. 
I know. Yeah. That's what I that's what I say when people start taking things away. I go, You aren't the first people here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're exactly. not you were not, you know, I think you they showed got the Ross deal of anything. You're, uh, you're an immigrant. You know, we're all immigrants. Anyway, that's Chuck Farnham, ladies and gentlemen. We've run out of time here, but hopefully we'll see you very, very soon. I hope so too. Ladies Thanks, and gentlemen. Thanks, buddy. Mr. Farnham. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, there he was. There's uh, Chuck Farnham, our old friend Chuck. We love Chuck. We love all the people that we that take time out to um, to be with us in these little interview segments that we do. Let me bring my head down just a tad. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you? Oh, boy. Today was a day for me, boy. I went to the dentist. Um, and I just uh, realized I'm going to have to wind up spending a fortune. Okay? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that when we talk to our people. And also, I'm having a couple talking tonight because they never, whenever they go to clean your teeth, they never do it without damaging all the, the tongue and the skin they there's a that suction thing you know I, you know the suction thing i'm talking about they put in your mouth they think that's a good i want the spit sink back okay all right let's just bring these people on well, we got uh three people to start out with so that's a beginning there's kevin and there's charlie wallace and there's brian neary so that's that's a good start wouldn't you all say huh you know yeah yeah. Sorry. Yeah. How are you doing there, Brian? And how are you doing, uh, Charlie? I'm doing okay. And how are you doing, Kevin? Uh, I don't have a toe tag on, so that's good. Okay. All right. That's a bit. That's a beginning. You know. Uh, so yep. Who's gonna win the game this weekend, guys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> are you it. just trying to make trouble? Stirring it up, are you? No, I just I just like you both take out each quarterback, a couple receivers. Oh, that's basketball, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> with with the, the the white little white ball, yeah. Yeah, that basketball. Yeah, okay. Yep. Or 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 is it golf? <laughs> These two are at war right now. So who are at, we're, wait we're frenemies? Wait we're frenemies. Yeah. Who are at war? Charlie mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, and the Kevin. Are Kevin. Forty Niners Sunday night. Oh. Yeah, and then and then uh, the Eagles are going to pick up the carnage. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, I'm the left. You're not I am Brian, I, Brian's I, waiting I, for whoever's laying on the ground. What I better do is put. I've had to think about going by myself, just going, getting the ticket, going somewhere. So, I I thought about driving down. First, I thought about driving down to L.A. to watch the Eagles play. Then That's I looked great. at the airfare, and actually, I can get a flight from San Jose to L.A. LAX, uh, seven in the morning. I get there like around nine. I get Uber to the stadium, watch the game. After take a seven p.m. flight back home, all in one day. Be nice. If something gets delayed. This yeah. is this is what day? Sunday, but I'm not going to do it. But Sunday. But yeah. you're but you're That's not going to do it. I thought you just go said you were going to do it. I was thinking about doing it, but. It's a great stadium to see a game. I'd love to go, but I've heard oh, yeah, it's awesome. Which stadium is yeah. that? SoFi. Yeah, in L.A., SoFi Stadium, yeah. SoFi. I wish they'd done Levi's like that. Oh, wait a minute. SoFi is who? Um, They're the LA Chargers Rams. and the Chargers. Rams and Chargers. They share it. Oh. Yeah, but, I mean, SoFi is the name of some company, right? Yeah, it's an investment. Yeah. They sell like like Cowboys is AT and T Stadium. I mean, you know, so somebody they get hundreds of millions of dollars to put. Well, their name. can we get enough money together and name something the Gabnet Stadium? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a playground somewhere. That I'll put in five dollars. <laughs> okay, well that's a start. Yeah. Yeah. You were, not going, you were not going out over the air a minute ago when I first got on. Did you change that, Alex? What do you mean I was not going out over the air? Well, I was watching GabNet, and normally you come up there first. Yeah, it's there. That's there. It's yeah. so on YouTube. I, I watched Never mind. Never mind, then. 
Yeah, no, I, I first couple about the first minute I had my face on, that was it. Oh yeah. So don't tell me I wasn't on. We were on. I just didn't. Well, I don't know. It didn't look on. Well, is it not on till I see your faces on the air? Oh, maybe. Okay. I heard you. I heard you say hi, Charlie. He wasn't on. I heard you say hi to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, Kevin, and he was his face with just you were talking. Yeah. Internet lag. And your point is. Yeah, yeah. you got it. You got to fix it. You guys are going to have to talk for me tonight because this cleaning woman, the cleaning woman, the woman who cleaned my teeth. <laughs> yeah. They uh, always tear your gums up when yeah, they, they do tore that. my tongue to shreds over on the side here. And then they got that suction thing and it like almost sucked the side of my mouth off. You know, and, and uh, come on, uh, what, 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 what was wrong with a spit sink? Yeah. You know? With the water swirling around in it. I yeah. love that. You could have fun with it. You could do art pieces <laughs> with it. You know? Make a little pattern. Oh, no. We've modernized. Now we stick a hose in your mouth and let it suck out the roof of your mouth. <laughs> you know? The thing that I hate, they used to do the hand scraping and then the, the you know, the machine would put the, the stuff on and clean your teeth and and stuff now they use an ultrasonic cleaner and i can't get the damn yeah. dentist to turn it down mm -hmm. and it hurts <laughs> yeah yeah oh no pain is part of their job yeah no but it still uses a jackhammer let's see here <laughs> here are some people who are trying to get on perel uh oh jason mm -hmm. charlie and tucker <laughs> Oh. Charlie's already here. Charlie's Charlie. Hey, Tucker Carlson, let him on. Yeah, I got news for you, uh, Charlie. You can go away. Uh, Charlie's <laughs> already here. We know it's not Jason you. might be Jason from back then. Maybe. Mm. Tucker Carlson. I don't know. No, this was Jason N. Juarez. I doubt it. Oh, no. That's <laughs> he was always owner. Jason was always owner. Oh, here's a kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here. Hey, Tom Brady wants to get on right now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Fuck love football. See, he's all excited. Yeah. You know what? So whoever whoever whoever's trying to hack into this popped up the show and they heard us talking about sports, so they think this is sports. Yeah. Talk. <laughs> Mike Ditka died today, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. No, was it? Dick yeah. Buckus. Yeah. Dick, no, Dick 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 I'm not a sports fan. But, I don't know. Somebody Dick like that. Buckus, Dick Buckus died. Dick Buckus. Dick oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I accidentally put somebody on my. Uh, no, 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 no. On there. Tucker Carlson is not coming on. Yeah, I don't want this person here. Let's get rid of him. Let's see here. Oh, uh, let me see. Put in waiting room. No, remove. Just remove. That's what I wanted to do, but apparently it didn't remove him. Okay, there goes Tucker. All right, back to you guys. Oh, Charlie, don't try again. Brandon Curlington. Oh, Brandon. Oh, oh. Right. Let's see. Remove. Uh, remove. Okay. There we go. Just uh, you guys, don't try. Don't. don't I wonder try. if Bob will call the show tonight. Huh? You know Bob. Yeah, Bob. Maybe Bob's gonna call. How about, how about Bubbles? Maybe Bubbles will call the show tonight. Yeah. Yeah. What about Bob? Yeah. yeah. Let's see here. Remove. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, so, I really? so anyway, I... Uh, about, Kevin, are you going to the game? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to hear about my tooth? No, not really. Because uh, <laughs> this thing's going to cost me about $5,000. I have a loose tooth, is that, which is... That coming, uh, is that coming uh, out of our $5,000? <laughs> hmm? Is that coming out of our five thousand dollars? Coming out of your five thousand dollars. Yes. How yeah. did you know? I'll start page. a GoFundMe page for Alex's tooth to be replaced. Yeah. Well. <laughs> they, yeah. 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 They're going to have to. Uh, let's see here. It, it turns out it's a, a, a abscess, which is not doesn't hurt me, but it's an abscess, and and uh, they're, so they're going to pull it, and then they're going to uh, immediately if it's oh, if the bone's okay, they're immediately going to implant. Just on the same okay. visit, and then I wait three months, and then they put in the everything, you know. Uh, an abscess? You think they'd want to give you an antibiotic for a while? No, 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 no. It, it apparently it isn't the same kind of abscess. I don't. Yeah, know. different. Yeah. 
So, but I mean, I, I love going, I went to her today and she said to me, she says, I'll be back in a moment after the woman's cleaned my teeth. I'm, I'll, I'll take a look at your mouth and don't worry, I'm, I'm not gonna cost you a lot of money. And uh. I said, I'm sure you'll cost me just enough to pay for that yacht. <laughs> and she, she kind of gave me a look like, you know, they have no sense of humor about their profession. My Dennis is pretty good. I, I got, I had her on uh, uh, April Fool's Day, and so I put the vampire teeth in my mouth, and she came into me, and then she asked, to "Open the mouth," and I opened my mouth, and I had the vampire teeth. So she, she laughed. Okay, well that, that's good. That's good. But you know, I mean, they're going to do all this work on my teeth, and uh, I'm going to pay like five, six grand to get it done, and uh, then I'll die. You know, I mean. I'd rather just live with the abscess, you know. But uh, but then again, I could live to be 100, and then I would have an abscess too. So, you know, I mean, what, what the hell? It's only money. That's right. You can't take it with you. Have you heard that saying? It's only mm. money. Right. Yeah, but mm. I could leave it to you, Alan. Oh, well, forget the tooth. <laughs> Get the tooth. No, no, I have enough truth. money. Yeah. I could take a hell of a cruise for five thousand dollars, man. Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah, around Texas, huh? Hmm. I don't know. So I, you know, then then they said, uh, and you know, you have some some pockets in your gums. You know, you have your deep pockets in your gums. And I go, come on, you know, we're going to fix that. Are we really going to fix that? You know, I they mean, need a deep cleaning now. They got they bring me back for another cleaning. That's their idea of a deep cleaning. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. This dentist saw you coming. No. This guy's got a lot of money. We heard him talk about it on the show. Let's get some no, of it. No, that's <laughs> not it. You know, it's just that nothing's cheap anymore. Nope. You know? And uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm amazed at how, what co things are costing now. Did you hear that they're even going to raise the uh, 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 online TV services even more than they've already raised them? Yeah, I already saw they're going to raise Netflix. Yeah. What, it's going up. They haven't said how much. Yeah. Yeah. It just did that. Well, I think we should, I think everybody in America should just drop them. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, let, if if the ad SAG after can go on strike and the Writers Guild can go on strike and the UGA, uh, UWA rather, UAW can go on strike, and uh, now uh, Kaiser can go on strike. Uh, I think, it's just my opinion, we could go on strike too. We could, and if it goes bad, you can blame it on Trump. Well, yeah, when he's president, you know. Hey, listen, I just, fi I, I got this deal, you know. Um, he's uh, running uh, for Bill, Speaker of the House. Bill, Bill Maher was talking, no he's not. Bill Maher, it's been suggested by idiots, okay? Yep. Uh, Bill Maher, I was talking about, uh, he, he was uh, t talking with um, uh, James Carville. And James Carville said he doesn't think that um, Biden should run. He said, here's the problem. The problem is that Biden is old. So is Trump, wow. but not as old. So in comparison, in a debate, Trump will look younger. So what the Democratic Party has to do is run a younger candidate. And they can walk. He said, he said, you could put anybody in there from the Democratic Party who's younger and he'd win. Yep. You know? Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I tend to agree with that. Yeah. You know, I was just looking at Pete Buttigieg today. Run him. You know. That's what I say all along. Buddha Judge would be a great one. He yeah. got no baggage. No baggage. Well, he's gay. Yeah, that's what's killing him. But who cares? Y yeah. yeah. Yeah, really. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. But I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think people would hold that against him. They didn't hold being black against Obama. You know. But that uh, now you probably disagree with what I'm saying, right, Charlie? Mm. Why would I disagree with you? Because well, last time I brought up the thing about Biden's age and that he probably shouldn't run, you were kind of uh, against that. Oh, I disagree with you about that. I mean, I don't, I don't care how old he is. <laughs> can he do the job? He's, considering what he's been facing, he's done a pretty Yeah, pretty and that's great. Job. You don't. 
Okay, but the public does. I know that that's you know, and that's that's and, and and do we want Trump as president again? No. You know. By the way, yeah, did, you the, did you hear the latest that he supposedly told an Australian businessman top secrets? You know, anybody else does that? The, the MAGA people want to nail them to the wall. Yes, Trump absolutely. does it. No problem. No problem. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that when I heard that, I went, "Geez, Almighty!" You know, what, is there anything else he can do that's terrible? You know, no. Uh, Become president. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's 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 horrible. It's terrible. It's really terrible. Uh, but, but I mean, I just think that, uh, you know, it, it's just that. In fact, I saw a video tonight of, of uh, Biden two years ago, and he looks more, looked more spry than he does now, considerably. Yes. You know, and somebody said that on his worst day, Trump doesn't look old. He looked fat. He looks obnoxious. He looks anything else you want to say, but he doesn't look old, old. You know. I think he looks old trying to I walk think so down too. ramps. I think he does. Oh yeah, yeah. He looks old trying to take a drink, a glass of water because he <laughs> has to use two hands to do it. Yeah, you're right. Really? You're right. Yeah, but still, yeah. you got to compare that next to Biden. You know, it, it's 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 it would we would just have a walk in the park if we just run somebody like Gavin Newsom or Pete Buttigieg or somebody who's just younger, mm -hmm. uh, he, 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 Trump wouldn't have a chance. Trump thinks he's running against Obama. He said that <laughs> multiple times. Yeah. What do you mean he thinks he's running against Obama? He said, I'm, I'm going to beat Obama just like I did in 2016. <laughs> I mean, he said that. And you <laughs> think... Biden's the one that's got mental problems. Yeah, he, he's just as bad as. I don't see why he, there's any. I don't see any difference myself. Yeah, I think Trump is a lot older and and less competent than than Biden. Oh, yeah. As far as his his mental cognizance, yeah, I I agree with that. He, he's no he's no he's no more cognizant than. And Biden, I would yeah. say Biden's got a little bit more, because yeah. he's at least more sensible. Yeah. Um, Trump's Trump's just out of his freaking mind. That's all. Yeah. I think Trump Trump's inner body is gonna fail before Biden. Yeah. Well, I I think that's possible, but you know it it's all optics. <clears throat> okay. It's Let's be honest. It's all optics, and that's yeah. the problem. Yes, Biden and, and, could, you know, Biden could Biden get up looks, in the morning, go to the Oval Office, do all the business that has to be done, clear of thought, clear of mind. But when it comes to looking like that, we live right. in a very, very, uh, you know, Joe optical look, age. Joe just looks a little more arthritic right now. I mean, he yeah. looks a little more stiff. That's all. Yeah. And to me, he looks like, you know, I noticed it tonight, even when I was watching him on TV, I said to my wife, I said, he just looks more robotic. Well, the problem you know, his, I have with arms don't move. He kind of just stiff yeah. stands up there, and he, but that's the only thing that makes him look bad. Well, the only thing that I that I see wrong with uh, with uh, Biden is that do you remember the two old guys up in the balcony on the Muppet Show? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I used to love those guys. They're he looks like, he looks like one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do Trump you say? I don't like know what he's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I and I I look. Let's be honest about it. Ruth Gator Bins, Binsgerber, yeah. Ruth Ray Bader Ginsburg didn't do us any favors. No. You know, you, know, you say that, but if but, she had retired, McConnell just would have held that seat open. But, but, yeah, but, he never would have let them vote on that anyway. Obama asked her, her to do it early in his term. So we would have had a lot of time to get over McConnell and his hissy fits, you know. Um, so that's that's the problem there. I don't know. McConnell promised that if Hillary won, they'd never uh, confirm a Supreme Court justice for all four years. Oh, what a, what a just what a what a what a. McConnell's an asshole. 
you know. I can't believe that people keep voting for him when, when he they, he just sits on his hand and won't do his job. Well, McConnell is getting to look like the other guy in the balcony on the Muppet yeah. Show, you know. I mean, it's um, McConnell is. What what did Mark Bill Mark call it the other night? Uh, 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 McConnell, uh, 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 yeah, McConnell, McConnell. Every night. he's good until he buffers, <laughs> 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 and then they ran you know the circle. He's sitting there buffering, yeah, <laughs> yeah, until he buffers. Yeah, that's good. But I mean, you know, it's just not um, it. it, it and all America doesn't feel they want to see either of these people run. Yeah. You know, I feel sorry for the Republicans who don't have any other choice. Do they or don't they? But, you know, how Not much... According to the base, nobody they won't vote for anybody but Trump. And how much longer are we going to have to put up with, uh, uh, with, uh, with Trump and his antics? You know, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, I think he's going to wind up in jail before he ever gets to run, to be honest with you. He keeps mouthing off. You know, like my friend, the judge, okay, I know that guy. He's tough. He's not mean. He's not horrible. He's not, uh, uh, he's not a Democrat who says, oh, I'm going to go after Republicans. He's none of that. He's a very good, solid judge who, when somebody comes after him, doesn't put up with it. Just doesn't put up with it. And um, I told you last night what happened in my case, and he literally put it in the decision. You know, the, here's what these people did to me, and I just wanted you to know uh, mm -hmm. for transparency. Uh, he's a very good judge. He's a very decent, nice guy. And uh, I see him throwing Donald Trump in prison, in jail, if he mouths off anymore, you know. Uh, it's not beyond that judge. And I, I think maybe, maybe Trump would like to wind up in jail. Because then he can be, you know, he can be like Hitler writing Mein Kampf, you know. He can watch TV all day. He can watch TV all day, right. Watch, watch MSNBC if he wants to see himself a lot. Yeah. Oh, man, that would be... Horrible for him, getting stuck on just MSNBC. Oh, no, no, he would like MSNBC because they talk about him more than Fox does. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's end to end Trump. Trump did this, Trump did that, Trump's doing yeah, this today. All day. All day. And they, and they didn't learn in 2016 that they handed Trump the election by doing that? Don't people understand the more that happens to Trump and the more that people say bad about him, the higher his approval rating goes, figure that one out. But anyway, and you know, the Republicans are a crap show. There's no question about it. Uh, I mean, this whole thing with the Speaker of the House. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about the country. They, they knew, I mean, everybody knew that was gonna happen. Everybody knew that was going to happen, but the fact is, don't yeah, don't they care about the country? Don't they care about getting the business of the country done? Yeah. Does it really matter who's hammering a gavel? They don't. You know. No. You know. So, it, well, how would it hurt to keep McCarthy in there? Yeah. You know. Um, but it's just because uh, what's his name? The baby, the baby dater. What's his name? Uh, Matt Gates. Matt Gates. Uh, felt that okay. This says Tony. Do you think it's Tony? Let no. me have my, well, Let me just put my face up here. Yeah, it could be. It, you it know, could be. It, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Probably is Tony. But let's let's see here if it is Tony. Okay. Probably could see his face scream and then hang up on him. Hey, hey, Tony, are you there, Tony? Oh, there he oh, is. Oh, it is, is Tony. <laughs> yeah, there is Tony. Right. Hi, Tony. Got a haircut. I got a buzz cut, yeah. Mm. It's getting too crazy. Why'd you get that that crazy a haircut? Well, I kind of like it short. It was getting too curly in the back, so. Yeah. You're actually like when I got my hair short, too. Yeah. Are you still wearing braces? 
<clears throat> well, no, I took them off. Well, I, I paid them about two years ago. I was listening to your yeah, cleaning. Because, because I your went teeth, to my cleaning your, last week. Your teeth have kind of look straight, much straighter than they used yeah. to be. Oh yeah, better than what they were. Never forget when I first met Shecky. He says, "Oh my God." <laughs> well, Shecky told me he says, "I'm going to get yeah. this guy to go out and get his." He teeth got me fixed. to get him. He pushed me to get him. I got him. Oh, I got to tell you, I have a video of him. I mean, he he had no one tooth that went in the same direction. <laughs> no, I didn't. It was like he went that way. The other one went this way. <laughs> Alex, I went for my cleaning a week ago. I hate that. I, I don't hate. Actually, the woman I had today was pretty good. Except afterwards, when you leave, you find out how much she hacked your mouth up. You know, I heard you say five grand. I was like, oh man, don't you have insurance? Don't they pick it up? Oh, I have some insurance. I mean, okay. look, the insurance, met, uh, dental insurance, is fifteen hundred dollars a year. Wow. Okay. It, so it's okay. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. And and so consequently. You know, so it's going to take care of fifteen hundred dollars out of the five thousand. It's going 5, to cost yeah. me. You know, I'm still going to have to pay the other thirty five hundred dollars for crying. You know what they told me? You can pay in installments. All right, what? No, no interest. That's, that's what I'm going to hey, do. You know, think, you know yeah. what's interesting about installments? When you aren't working, installments don't really matter. That is true. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah. You know, because it's still money that's going away. It's still going. Yeah. I was going to pay him, I told Shecky, I'll pay him with a comic book. <laughs> hey, yeah, there you go. Pay him in comic books. They probably don't realize that they're probably worth more yeah. than they think they are. The lady always asks me when she's cleaning up, so how is it going? Is it's going all right. I don't want to say too much, maybe that jack my price up. I said. Well, I, 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 the lady I showed up with an axe. Back up on YouTube. Yeah. I got a little cavity, Alex. That's it. Really, really small. That was awful. So that's not bad. $300. You know, well, I got covered, so well, I think well, I probably cost me like fifty bucks. I have a loose tooth; it's abscess that they're going to have to pull, and then they're going to have to put a a, a, a a what do you call it in there? A implant. A implant. Implant. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. Alex, I, you you haven't switched back to the group on YouTube. Oh, yeah. I haven't. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I okay. did. I thought mm -hmm. I did. I'm sorry, everybody. Somebody yeah, tried to tell you that. People are missing out on our on our time here. It doesn't matter. This is usually a... they want to see Tony's haircut. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's all on the floor stuff. Well, I was so I was twenty dollars for the haircut too. It went up. It used to be seventeen. Oh, oh what? Twenty bucks and then three dollars. Oh, twenty bucks. I think the last haircut I paid come for was forty bucks. Come down to Harlem. Really? Oh my god. Come down to I couldn't Harlem. get it for twenty bucks. Wait a minute. Come down to Harlem, twelve dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's your haircut. <laughs> and actually, Mar Alex Marjorie haircut. does this now. He's done. Yeah, Marjorie actually does this for me. Mm -hmm. so. Well, Alex can comb his hair with a wash rag. So. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. That's very funny. Let's see your hair. Let's see Not your hair. Not much. I'm well, catching yeah, up right, with you. Right. Well, hey, my brother, yeah, he gets a little grass. Yeah, I'm catching up with you. I'll have to go on to Amazon and send you some wash rags. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> just because I'm awake doesn't mean what? Charlie. I'm ready to do oh, things. Oh, doesn't mean I'm ready to do things. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But anyway, so uh, you know, but I mean, uh, the the price of everything and and. Uh, there's just, I think America should go on strike against all these uh, uh, services. Here's the thing you can do. I can pay some, Alex. When Only done. subscribe to one at a time. I canceled a whole bunch now. Huh? Yeah. What I, you do is I you mean, cancel them all. Then you say, okay, where is there a show I want to watch? I kept Peacock and, and Amazon. I wasn't watching everything. You, I didn't kept, pe you kept Peacock? Why did you keep You know Peacock? why? I know you did. That's what my brother said, too. I like that show, Alex. Uh, she's like a detective. My mo it's like Murder, She Wrote, but different, where they tell the story. Ah, what the well, hell I is already it saw all those episodes. Poker Face. Yeah, did I, you saw, I saw oh, every oh, one of those. Once I right. finish it, then I'm going to cancel it. I, I figured. I, well, let me put, put it this way. This is how I, how I don't did subscribe like to it? things. What? Did you yeah. like oh, it? Yeah, I thought it was terrific. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I remember you saying that, so I got I it. I didn't yeah. subscribe to uh, uh, Peacock to see it, but. Oh, you got it the other yeah. way. I'll, once I'm done Whoa. over the weekend, I told brother, this is going hey, bye listen, bye. I'm telling, I'm telling everybody, if you want to, go out there and get these things any way you can without paying for them, because uh -huh. these guys are starting to rob us blind. All right? Mm -hmm. Why can't NBC put that on regular TV, Alex? We they, should learn, they should learn what. 
I think in the early years, a lot of software companies learned that if you sell something at a cheap enough price, people won't buy fake copies of it. Yeah. Because right. they want they'll want the real thing. But if you don't, they'll just go out and go online and get a bootleg copy of it because it costs too much to, to do it. Uh, and they learned that several years ago. And what's going to happen with these guys? Okay, go ahead. Uh, raise them the prices as high as you want to go. People are going to start stealing your yep. programs. Mm -hmm. And how can you blame them? You know, this I don't know what any of those costs. They have free Peacock with my AT&T phone service. I have free Netflix with my Comcast internet. That's the bar. Can't get Netflix for a couple of months. So I don't know what they cost. Yeah, but I get I I, I have a Hulu, uh, and as part of my Hulu thing, I also get Disney stuff for free. Okay. okay. And then um, through AT and T, I get uh, Max, which believe me is no great winner yeah okay. because now it's like hbo and max together i was looking at it the other day i was like what the hell's going on what well, it's hbo and max together it's kind of like um what if you go out to dinner and you have a steak in as a side would you like a side with that yeah how about licorice <laughs> <laughs> you know uh that's that's max uh yeah. it's uh it's licorice and uh steak uh it's like hbo programs and um, uh, who's that guy uh, that goes around eating all the hot food and everything? You know, uh, 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 I'm trying to remember his name now. But there are a lot of the all those those just horrible discovery shows. You know, a celebrity chef. They don't belong. They don't belong on the same Guy Fieri. It's like Guy Fieri oh, and Succession. What? It's like a licorice and steak. You know. And I just don't understand um, uh, why they keep doing that, you know? Um, uh, why, why they thought that was a good idea. HBO, Boy, is he a homophobe? Who? Guy Fieri. How's he Eric. a homophobe? He is. How is he a homophobe? Uh, a couple of years ago, he, his Ferrari or something was stolen out of the Ferrari dealership, and he says, it's probably those gays that hang out around here. He <laughs> says, I wish they would kick them all out of San Francisco. I went, really? A lot of them are probably paying for your what food. Kind, what, kind of, what kind of guy who does something that plays to the public it makes is. a statement like that publicly? That's, that's wrong. And he it's, was being interviewed a few years ago, and he had his son, I think his name is Hunter, and he's this young man who's like probably 19, 20 years old, and somebody in the crowd said, <laughs> Your son's really uh, growing up and, and looking good. He's been on some of your shows and stuff. And he says, you're a guy and you're commenting on my son. What are you, gay? Really? Did he do that? Time. Did, did, yeah, gay, did yeah. gay Fieri say that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I won't go to his restaurants anymore. Does yeah. he have restaurants? I, I, want, I eat at one. I don't know. A guy is something or rather kitchen in Las Vegas once. It was okay. Way overpriced. But that, but what brought me, what brought me up that is, you get a steak, and then if you want a baked potato, it's twenty bucks. Oh, on asparagus, it's another fifteen for four spears. Well, did do you get to go in ahead of time and get an estimate? <laughs> yeah, you should be able to. <laughs> yeah. Bring your own potato. Bring your own potato. potato. That's cute. Well, anyway, that you know, it's just a bad combination, and I mean, no, uh, Discovery shows always sucked. Okay, they were always the low end of the uh, of the uh, of the of the. Of the uh, feeding pool, you know, uh, of the swamp. And uh, it just isn't right. I'll tell you, I, and I've said this before, and their prices are going to go up too. Apple TV is the best thing out there right now. My brother likes that. That is the quality that HBO used to have. They do have good programming when it's up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but now that you said that, they're going to jack the prices up. I think they're going to jack it, yeah. What are you paying for it? I'm paying six ninety nine a month. Oh, that's not bad. But it's pretty good. I mean, it's great. I mean, some of the programs that we find, I said to Marjorie, I said, look at Apple TV. We think it's, you know, like third run, whatever. How many of these shows have we have we binged? And she said, just about all of them. 
You know, they're that good. So, you know, uh, that would be my suggestion. Get, but here's the thing to do. Get rid of everything, okay? That's and, what I'm trying to do, Pepe. And then pick one of them you want to watch something on. And then subscribe to Netflix for a month and binge watch everything that you yeah, want. I, and then mm -hmm. get rid of Netflix. And then go over, over I have Amazon yeah. Prime. I send stuff to everybody. So I watch it. You know, 22,000 movies online. Yeah, but 21,000 of them cost you 5 or $6 to watch. Well, no, but it, 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 Amazon yeah. Prime is a different kind of situation. Not there, sure. you get that just for subscribing to right. Amazon Prime, which that's gives right. you, you know, free delivery. That's right. You know, and that's why that's why you subscribe to it, and this is kind of a bonus. Yeah, yep. I, I save a bundle because I don't pay delivery charges. I yeah. order stuff yeah. every week. And occasionally, yep. there's some good shows on there. I like this new thing, V, the new show they've got. I, I, I can't try to remember what it is, V University or something. I don't know. But anyway, I like it. You know, they have to do that for music because they have some music source, different kind of uh, 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 music groups that that send out you know a lot of different kind of music and stuff like that. Sometimes we'll go on there and just subscribe just the thirty day, just download a whole bunch of stuff and then and then cut it and wait till like six months and do that again. A couple of my friends do that, exactly, so. exactly. But I mean, that's what we all got to do. We have to find out a way to fight. Uh, this and I, I think there should be a national movement go on strike against these guys. Why? You know, they're going to keep charging you more and more and more. And in the beginning, I guess I subscribed to most of them because they were so cheap. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, I actually had to. Cu I cut down on Netflix by if you pay their nineteen ninety nine a month you get 4k if you don't you don't get 4k what i defy you, you to tell the difference uh, with your not. naked eye you know so mm. go for the go you know but i i gotta go for any of these things without commercials you know mm. because i can't stand to be watching a movie and then all of a sudden here comes you know a commercial it just drives me batty so and i haven't found a way to get around those so you know, that's impossible. But uh, anyway, you know, but I've got Paramount Plus and I've got, uh, what else do I have? Well, I have the Disney, uh, Disney and I have uh, ESPN Plus because of the Disney. And I have Hulu, but they just raised their price on me $7. I have their um, get all the TV stations and so on with theirs, okay? But the, but the bonus is I get Disney. You know, so there's that. And what else do what else do I get? That's about it, I think. Amazon Prime, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Paramount Plus, uh, Apple Plus. That's about it. Yeah. And I don't take Peacock. I'm sorry. Well, I'm gonna I, cancel. I, I, I tried it, and it's just it's pathetic. It's really I was watching pathetic. on Saturday Night Live. They had that too, so I was going back to different. They, had a very, they have a very good show on right now called The Continental. Any good? Oh, yeah. yeah, I just said, didn't mm -hmm. I say? No, I just told you it was good because it's oh. terrible. <laughs> no, it's. Well, great. I can watch that then. I'll keep I, it. I, yeah, I just started watching that. I love, I love John Wick. So, yeah, I just well, I don't watching. know the John Wick films, but I like this storyline <clears throat> on this thing. You know, it's uh, very I'm, good. I'm, I'm, How does it relate to the John Wick? world it just show i think it's i only started watching like the first 10 minutes and then it got really graphic and adrian was there so i said uh time to switch this <laughs> but, uh they're like a strip club or something. but um yeah the uh i think it's earlier i think this is earlier in and uh, when the continentals first started coming up yeah. um yeah so what, 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 how does how does it how does it relate to john the john wick movies yeah, it's the same place. Well, the Continental Hotel. So it's just showing that earlier, uh, before John Wick, it you know, got to be John Wick, I think. The, the Continental Hotel, if I'm not mistaken, is here in New York. The yeah. For it. And it is actually what was Delmonico's restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you were to go over to the side, you would see the New York Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I believe so. 
So it's the same. It's the same place. Yeah, I think they showed a picture of it uh, years ago of that. Yeah, and that that's what it was. And it's only like three episodes. Mm. So it no it takes no time to download. Oh wait a minute, I didn't say that. Uh, it <laughs> takes no time to watch. Um, but anyway, you know, it's just I I'm sorry. These and Peacock, what they're raising their prices too, aren't they? If they haven't already, I think I'm paying four dollars and ninety five cents. Listen, if everything were four ninety five, everybody That's would buy deal. all of them. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a gas station that's really close here. It's like the closest gas station. And it's in like residential area, and it was Union seventy six, and they were always like seventy five cents or almost a dollar higher than the lowest place that I go to. And finally, after years and years, they just sold to some other generic company and some generic XS gas or something like that. And it's down now, it's the cheapest around here. And now they have a line. And it's like the other place when it was 76, no one would go there because the prices were so high. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now, now these guys are making money. And I went I never, over this. I never, under, I, never, I never understood that. Okay. Yeah. That there were some gas stations that would charge. As you say, a dollar more than another gas station, but they were always gas stations that were on the um, what could you call it on the main main street or whatever. Uh, right. When I went to uh, in San Francisco, if you go down Lombard Street, which is the street that goes to the Golden the Golden Gate Bridge, all those gas stations were at least fifty cents higher than any other gas station in San Francisco, and the yeah. reason was. Hey, you're on your way to the Golden Gate Bridge. Hey, I better get gas before I go onto the bridge. And they'll stop there and buy gas. Because I couldn't figure out how these people could make money. Yeah. Made a lot of money on it. Look at the airports. Drive, so drive around an airport and yes. try and fill up yeah. on the way into the airport. Yes. We have three yeah. gas stations. We have three gas stations an Arco, Bolero, and, an, and a Chevron. The Arco is the cheapest. The Valero is sixty-five cents a gallon more from the Arco, mm -hmm. and the Chevron is ninety-five cents more a gallon from the Arco. So how do they make? But money? they have Tecron in their yeah game. right, and yeah, and yeah. Know, people believe. I have friends of mine that believe in going to Chevron just for the Tecron. I how stupid. My dad was a Chevron dealer, and people just would only put Chevron in their. Yeah. Cars, well, period. some yeah. people, some there are people, people who do that in Shell. And some people, people do that with yeah. seventy six. Some yeah. people have this whole uh, thing Brand. about you know a product yeah. that they used all their lives. It's right. It's like they only use Heinz ketchup. Well, years ago, a year, years ago, I would only go to Shell stations because I had a Shell card to begin with, mm. and I just like Shell, you know. But after a while, I realized that there were cheaper gas stations around. Yeah. My dad was a Chevron dealer. I used to find the cheapest gas I could find. I never got it from. Dad. <laughs> well, what's the cheapest gas you can buy now? Oh, it's a, it doesn't. There's no rhyme or reason. I've I've gotten cheap gas from Chevron. I'm, uh, Costco has gas that's pretty cheap. Yeah, you know, it's like sitting in line forty. And it doesn't. Eat. It doesn't matter. It depends on what distributor they're getting it from. It, okay. It's all the distributor because. You can have a Chevron truck go into a distributor in downtown San Jose or on the edge of San Jose, and they can take it to a Chevron station. But then, really? you know, it, most of most of the Chevrons go to a Chevron distributor, obviously. But there's there's certain distributors that will take it to any gas station. Yeah, wow. and then it depends on what they buy it from from the distributor, and then mm -hmm. they take it to that gas station. Then they have their markup. But you know, it, it's all. It's it's nasty behind the scenes shit. I got because, something today oh, that I think was was a, a bargain. Okay. All right. You know this bread. Yeah. You, know, this, you baked it yourself. That's, that's the big piece, right? Yeah. How much you think? I would say ninety nine ninety nine cents. Come on, I I got it for three bucks. I thought that was a deal. Three bucks. Yeah. You need to you need to let your wife do the shopping. Hell, I, I, <laughs> probably, I can yeah, get two baguettes at Costco for a buck fifty. Where'd you get it? I don't know, in the regular regular shop oh. place. Oh, they saw they said Stop Jeff's coming, raise prices. <laughs> yeah. 
We just we just bought a sourdough at Safeway, fresh made, dollar twenty nine. Fills up that whole bag. I wish I had enough listeners to this uh, to the show that they, that I could start a movement to like start, you know, opting out of all these uh, out of all these pay services. Unless you're yeah. getting them for free. If you got a way to get them for free, like uh, uh, you know, you have what what that you you get free, uh, Alan. What'd you uh, say you were uh, getting free? Yeah, uh, Netflix, uh, yeah. Prime, and uh, uh, Peacock. There are I ways. I yeah. haven't even watched Peacock. Mm. So. You can jailbreak a Fire Stick and then go and get the you know the Cody's and all that crap on the side. Get oh, all your movies. No, I'll get, get together with you. Can I? I just got a Roco mm. stick. Ro- yeah, you jailbreak Roco. them and then you go pirate all that stuff and then you oh, don't okay. have to have all that. Yeah. That's, yeah. Well, good. you know, no, people are going to start good. pirating a lot. Oh, yeah. You'd rather than pay for that stuff, you right. know, and and they're asking for it. Where there's a hacker, there's a way. Well, no, I just yeah. it, just in the old days, as I say, with uh, computer programs, people started hacking them, and they were trying to yeah. get a hundred bucks a piece for them, and that was twenty uh, years ago. Mm-hmm. That was and, with, the way we used to bootleg our our albums and everything else. In yeah, the old days. yeah, but when things get to be at a reasonable price, people are not going to go for the bootlegs. They right, like exactly. to have the. Uh, the actual They'd rather have the good quality. The good quality, and, and, and uh, you know, yeah. Hi there, Bree. Right. How are you? Is he paying he attention to me? He is muted. Bree, you're muted. Hi, Alex. Uh, I'm the, just getting ready to go to... He's in the buffet line. going to go to lunch now. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh uh, it, it, it. It's, it's our new show, Lunch with Bree. Yeah. <laughs> and Gordon Ramsay. And Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Where is that? Is that a Gordon Ramsay luncheon place or is something? Is that Gordon Ramsay steak in, yeah. in Las Vegas? No, this is uh, Street Pizza. Uh, what pizza? Uh, thank you, pizza. Street Pizza. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. One. Yeah, you're getting a bad signal there. I can I can switch in a minute. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, and if you had a lot of people listening, Jeff could give uh, shopping tips. <laughs> oh boy, you can get three dollar loaves of bread. That's right. <laughs> I think I get to like two uh, two uh, uh, baguettes at uh, Costco for buck fifty. Yeah, something like that. Buck ninety nine, buck fifty for both yeah. baguettes. Yeah. 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 Uh, and if you could fly out to uh, Malaysia, where Bree is, you could probably get a baguette Alex, almost if I for free. In the area, I could make you sausage and peppers tomorrow. It's on sale and stop. And I don't like sausage and peppers. And yeah. I have enough stomach problems. Too. I I can't stand peppers. I don't, need your oh, I don't even like that. Yeah, I don't no. like peppers at all. No. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So forget that, right. Tony. That's off the menu. Okay. It's off the menu. <laughs> Mm, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it for myself. Yeah, but two for five can't go wrong. Two for five can't go wrong. Right? <laughs> well, what was the mo- oh mobster Sam Giacana? He was supposedly making peppers and sausages when he was murdered. <laughs> he was killed. It was Sam Giacana. I think he was. Wasn't he killed coming out of a car? No, nah, in in his house in Chicago, he came back. And oh, Giancana, yeah, Giancana, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? And they they some hitmen whacked him because the, fe- the the mafia thought he was going to talk or something, and they he was he was supposedly making peppers and sausage in a fry pan. And well, you know, for an Italian mobster, isn't that the way to go? Absolutely, <laughs> that's right. And then then the hitman can eat the the sausage. You and take a and, 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 and brain. I think the, I, I, the, I think the greatest, the greatest um, um, uh, cooking lesson that has ever been in movies is in The Godfather when he teaches uh, him how to how to make uh, spaghetti and meatballs and sauce. Oh yeah, you put this. First in you put this in, you put that in, and you throw yeah, in the meatballs. Clever. You know. And. Uh, I know people have actually done that exact recipe. Uh, those are good. Those are good meatballs. Jeff knows right where to get them. Yeah, right. that's good. I, maybe tomorrow I'll get some. Well, you know, I don't. Uh, Marjorie used to make pretty good meatballs, but she doesn't make anything anymore. 
She discovered a thing. Uh, uh, okay. Yep. What? Oh. Uh, Thank she, you. She. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, she. Um, um, now I forgot what I was going to say because of that interruption. She doesn't yeah. cook things anymore. She doesn't cook anymore. She discovered that there's a thing called a Fresh Direct. Oh, you're using a Fresh Direct? Ah. Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes we order out to Costco and we get prepared meals like the rigatoni and the, you know, the macaroni and cheese and stuff. Macaroni and cheese looks good. Every yeah, time I go there, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. You know, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, I suddenly decided tonight we can't af afford to buy that stuff. And the reason yeah, is is that we yeah. ate like one third of the, of the, of, of the portion. We're not going to eat the rest. You know, it's going in the garbage. Mm. So. You're planning on eating it. The, tomorrow, but you don't. Not, right, you right. But we'll have it tomorrow. We'll eat uh, uh, leftovers tomorrow. Yeah, leftovers. That's what, that's what you'll probably say to me tomorrow. Let's have leftovers. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna go. Well, I'm trying to tell her I want to go on a diet, but you know, I can't go on a diet as long as I'm ordering macaroni and cheese from Costco. <laughs> I'm on my diet, Alex. I want you to move eating the mac and cheese. Nuking it. Oh, this is so good. My yeah. brother's like, he's eating again. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't nuke it. We actually cook it in the oven. Oh yeah, the, when it's in the when it's in the refrigerator, then if I want a little scoop of it when it's done, I'll nuke it if I'm watching like a movie, and then I'll put it in a little bowl. I used, to, I used to like to buy that uh, frozen macaroni and cheese and oh, just selfish, right? just suck it like a popsicle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was a sucker for the I don't think that was made with real cheese. <laughs> Thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, do you do you guys go to Costco, um, Brian? Like, yes. So you yes. can see the whole family. Is your wife a cook? Does she cook? I never, I never went to Costco before until, so we had, you know, so I was in this situation. Yeah, because oh. I never, had, never had a reason to go to Costco, and then all of a sudden with, with four people, and then with the fifth, mm -hmm. I go to Costco and get, you know, udon and all the yeah. ramen and all that stuff. So the sale <laughs> on seventy-two rolls of paper towel in one package. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, now you see the thing you can buy at Costco if you're just two people that is worth buying are is the uh, paper towels and the, to and the toilet tissue. That's what I said. And so on, we because do that you, you know, I don't care if you go out and you buy eighty packs of toilet paper. Eventually, <laughs> your wife is going to say to you, "I think we've run out of toilet paper." I don't know how long it's going to take, but eventually you will run out of toilet paper. I'll come up with another roll. We still got plenty down here. I don't like the Costco brand toilet paper. Oh, they, they call toilet paper is terrific. What is you like their, they like Notice he wants the two ply like my brother. I like right. No, this is two ply. This yeah. is two ply. This is this is two ply. Do you know what I, I ran into? Somebody, you know what somebody brought me back from Germany? You ready for this? Four ply toilet paper. Really? Oh, oh. Geez. Bad. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. yeah. You don't want your finger That's, going through that stuff. You know, know, every other ply is fiberglass. Yeah. No, but I thought it was I thought it was amazing. I thought it was just amazing. Never heard of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, four ply, just fold it in half and there's two plus two. Is four. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but it can't be so amazing. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm. I'm uh, He's looking at the clock. No, I, I'm looking at my uh, air conditioner here. I've had to turn on the air conditioner because it's so actually hot. gotten hot here. Yeah, it's that's hot here too. Oh, yeah, by the way, like... interesting, interesting. Did you have a nice uh, day? Did you go outside? Okay, I've gone. I've gone two and a half days on this watch without charging it. Uh, how much okay. how, how much percentage do you think I have left? 25. 40. Last night, so I'm guessing under 50? 42. 26 percent. Hey, wow. 25 was a good guess. Yeah. So I, I, I send it back. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I could probably go with this till tomorrow morning without charging it. And but it I charge still... mine. No, okay, so but I charge mine every night anyways. But I will say this. This guy at work was showing me his new one, the one that you have, the big, the big mm -hmm. one, and I have the big one from like two, the two, two series ago, and I thought mine was big. His is huge. I that know one this is, is huge. It's it's yeah. That one where, is. Where are we here? 
Yeah, that yeah. that one actually is really big. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a lot bigger than the largest one that they used to have before. Well, what I like about it is so that, you'll just have a you know this the watch will be like this big. Yeah, my, my, <laughs> no, but my eyes are you know it's getting a little harder for me to read. You know. As yeah. I'm getting older, and this has enough real estate that I can now read everything on it, you know. Without glasses? No, some of it I put glasses on just so it's clearer, but I can read it without without glasses. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. uh, so I mean, it's 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 terrific. And now you get one, Jeff. You get a coupon for three rolls of bread. <laughs> and you get peacock one, for free. This one's too, too too old, right? Yeah. yeah. It's obsolete. You know what it is? They Sometimes it would give you like, you know, three months of, of uh, Apple Plus for free. All right? Oh, because yeah. you got an Apple Watch. You know what they give you now? Nothing. Uh, 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 th three months of workouts. Really? Uh, I don't want that. Give me the goddamn TV shows where I can sit there and veg. Enough, you know? But, well, it depends on who's giving the instruction on the workout. If it's some... Um, little 25 year old hottie then it's worth it well i don't know if that were the if that, if that like were the that. reason for working out i would have started working out a long time ago but i never found that hottie okay um but uh, and the trouble with that hottie is that our age end up quick on just a quick model. thing quick because we're running out of time let me just go through all of you what pay service would you not have if you had to get rid of one and you had them all. Right. Okay. Kevin? Yeah. What would you get rid of? Which pay service? Uh, I've only got, well, I've got a third one now. I got YouTube TV I'm starting to try. Yeah. Uh, I don't take many. That's the only thing is I, I'm real careful about what I got. Yeah. So I, I probably would wouldn't get rid of any. How about I've you? I've only got a couple. How about you, Charlie? I'd probably get rid of Peacock. That's the one I watch the least. Okay. All right. Uh, um, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the time here. Uh, how about you? Uh, how about you, Brian? Yeah, I guess the same. Cause it, it sucks because there's like when I go to the store, there's like, well, I want HBO Max for this, and I want this one for this, and usually it's only like one or two shows. And like you, and then you got a whole family there, and everybody wants to watch yeah. a different one. So. They watch a lot of YouTube and yeah. Netflix. Yeah. How about you, Alan? Yeah. I would get rid of, of uh, yeah, a Peacock. Okay. How about you, Jeff? Well, I watch baseball, and oh, but yeah. pretty soon it's going to be the end of the season. I'm going to cut it out. Oh, okay. How about you? How about you? How about you, uh, uh, Tony? I would get rid of Peacock, and I'd probably just keep Amazon. Okay. Like All right, and know. and and Bree, what do you get out there in in the way of pay services? And what would you get rid of? You're muted, Bree. Well, I I mean I I like I have Netflix. Okay, and that's it. But, well. But I may have some TV boxes that, uh, historically speaking, hypothetically. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, hypothetically. Okay, listen, we're, I'm playing the theme, so it's time to say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye and good night to Kevin. Thank you. You guys uh, didn't guess how much I paid for my lunch, but next time. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, um, Five hundred dollars. Things of prices have gone high. <laughs> The, the uh, same price Jeff paid for a loaf of bread today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Charlie, thank you. Thank you to Brian. Uh, thank you to uh, um, uh, our good friend, uh, Alan. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Tony. And thank you, Bree. We really appreciate it. If everybody would give a big wave goodbye, I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay? There they go, folks. And there, here I come. Uh, that's it for tonight. Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the uh, intersection, which follows over most of the same GabNet. He'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. See you tomorrow night, everybody. Uh, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.